next three terms of the geometric sequence, negative one-third, one-half, negative three-fourths. In order to find a term, I need to have the common ratio. So let's find that common ratio by taking one-half and dividing it by the previous term, which is negative one-third. This is the same as one-half divided by negative one-third. And remember, I can always rewrite that as one-half times the inverse, which is negative three or negative three-halves. Therefore, r equals negative three-halves. Now that I have the common ratio, I can find the next three terms. So the, we stopped with the third term. I'm looking for the fourth term, the fifth, and the sixth. So the fourth term is going to be equal to negative three-fourths times negative three-halves. This is just going to be nine-eighths. The fifth term is going to be equal to nine-eighths times that common ratio of negative three-halves. Negative three-halves times nine-eighths is going to give me negative 27 sixteenths. A sub six, so the sixth term is going to be negative 27 sixteenths times negative three-halves. A negative and a negative is going to give me a positive, and 27 times 3 is actually 81. 16 times 2 is 32, and you could leave these as um, fractions, or you could rewrite them as mixed numbers. I'm just going to leave them as they are. So the next three terms are 9 eighths, negative 27 sixteenths, and 81 over 32. And I could have looked here and just predicted that the common ratio is negative because I have these alternating signs, negative, positive, negative. That concludes this lesson on educator.com covering geometric sequences. Thanks for